The mighty thoroughbred is a fast, agile, spirited breed. But like most athletes, these horses would be nowhere without their shoes, especially in the race for the Triple Crown. The 37-year wait is over. American Pharaoh has won the Triple Crown. And keeping these famous hooves trim and comfortable for the last 22 years is Kentucky's own Dwayne Raglan. You're a farrier, but you're also a bit of a blacksmith, aren't you? Yeah, farriers pretty much can just only tack on shoes. I kind of like the terminology of blacksmith because I can go outside the box a little bit and make shoes. Plus it sounds a little bit Yeah, manlier. more hardcore. Yeah. And so what are these made out of? Because they're quite light. On our brood mares and stallions, we'll use steel. And on our race horses, we'll use an aluminum shoe. A horse's success, a lot of it has to do with your blacksmith, your farrier. The old saying is, no foot, no horse. Without the foot, and a sound horse, then you will not get to the Derby. Now does that take some serious horsepower? It takes a little no bit. Pun intended to yeah, bang that, or exactly. Is it? it takes a little bit of twerking and, and torquing to get that thing together. Twerking and torquing. But before banging it out, first we need to do a little grinding. What and am I doing though? What's my just goal? That, just cleaning just that off, just a little bit. bit. Yep. Lower. You're a natural. Woo <laughs> Give me something on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is called a, a straight bar. Straight bar. Because it goes straight across. What it helps the foot to do is sustain all the concussion. Primarily, I'll use this type on some, maybe a racehorse. If he's hurting in the toe or he's hurting wherever, this gives him a lot more solid platform. So what we want to do here is we want to heat the shoe before we start adding our rod to it. I'm going to do this side. Okay. And I'm going to let you attempt the other side. Holy moly, yeah. <laughs> you ready? I, I mean, is my side looking like yours? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit different. That's okay. We'll, we'll fix it up. We'll make it real cute before it's all said and done. And we're off to tack on these shoes. Okay. So we'll start by clipping the old nails off. These right here are called the pull-offs. This is a hoof knife, pretty sharp. Um, and right now I'm just preparing the foot to get shoes put on it. And how often are you doing this to these horses? I hope to do it once a month. Hopefully they won't lose their shoes. And, it, and the nailing process doesn't hurt them at all? If it's done incorrectly, it can. Uh, and then I'll smooth the nails off. There's your finished product. Those Louboutins. <laughs> now it's time for me to get messy. I'm chapping it up, huh? The one with chaps. Have you ever worn these naked, Dwayne? Um, I've been asked a time or two to do that. The little cheeks popping out the back. <laughs> We're not doing that today. <laughs> First step, clip the nails. And squeeze. Okay. Squeeze. Yeah. And again. Wow, that's not easy right there. Should we file or something? Maybe I'll be better at that. All right. Yeah. You're going to go up under here and you're going to put this between your legs. Oh. Can you do that? Are you sure? I don't know. Is that you, safe? You, you can do it. Put this leg out here and pull this between here. Can I just file from there? Do you want to just file? You want me to hold it and file? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is. <laughs> this is a new technique. This is a new technique. This is different. <laughs> Am I doing it? Looks pretty good. Yeah? Okay, now this is getting a little awkward. How you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah. I know. It wasn't my best work. It wasn't my best work. Nothing better than new shoes in my world, that is for sure. <laughs> Do you think you have a cool job? To me, it doesn't seem that cool, but everybody seems fascinated by it, so I guess it is pretty cool. I think it's cool.